did Tyson Fury's father, John Fury, get battered by Barry Hardman, David Campbell? Well, this is a rumor that has been started by Mickey Theo, who claimed to have the information from a good source. At the time Mickey Theo started spreading this info, he was trying to antagonize John after challenging him to a fight. For the first time, John Fury has given his detailed version of the clash with David Campbell in his book, When Fury Takes Over, Life, The Furies, and Me. Welcome back to Crime Chronicles. Stay tuned as we take a look at the people involved in this crazy story, and we'll try our best to separate fact from fiction. John Fury is a British-Irish boxing corner man, former professional boxer, and bare-knuckle fighter. He will be better known to most people for being the father of two-time heavyweight boxing world champion Tyson Fury, as well as reality television personality and professional boxer Tommy Fury. He is also uncle to heavyweight boxer Huey Fury. John Fury was born on May 22nd of 1964 in Galway in Ireland, into a family of Irish traveller heritage. He moved to Manchester in England at the age of four, due to his father not being able to find work in his native Ireland. Fury claims descent from a long line of bare-knuckle fighters. Fury's professional boxing career spanned eight years, beginning in April of 1987 and ending in June of 1995. In total, he was involved in 13 bouts. He made his professional debut on the 28th of April 1987 when he lost to rugby league player Adam Fogarty in Halifax, West Yorkshire. From there, Fury went on to win his next six fights until a draw with David Hopkins in Helsinki on the 13th of February 1989. He was rewarded with a shot at the vacant Central Area title against Neil Molpus, but lost on points. After that, he rebounded with wins against Michael Murray, a future British title challenger, and Cesare Di Benedetto, a future Italian title challenger. However, in his next fight, Fury suffered a KO loss against future WBO champion Henry Akinwande. This loss was followed by a four-year absence from the ring until Fury returned against former opponent Steve Garber in Manchester in 1995. He was knocked out again inside four rounds. Fury finished his career with a record of eight wins, four losses, and one draw. Fury has been involved in many high-profile situations whilst supporting his son Tyson. After Tyson Fury defeated reigning 11-year champion Vladimir Klitschko in Dusseldorf on the 27th of November 2015, John Fury criticized the media for their lack of faith, exhorted them to stop being yes-men, then ordered everybody in the room to give his son a standing ovation for his achievement. In the build-up to Tyson's rematch with Deontay Wilder, Fury was involved in a heated dispute with former heavyweight boxer David Hay over his son's chances before the fight, betting Hay one million pounds that his son would beat Wilder. Fury's verbal tirades are often obscene. For example, he publicly belittled Deontay Wilder, stating that he is not fit to carry Anthony Joshua's jockstrap. John Fury has become a media personality off the back of his son's boxing exploits. But there was a time when he was making the news for all the wrong reasons. In 2011, Fury was found guilty of wounding with intent to cause grievous bodily harm for gouging a man's eye out in a brawl in 2010. It seems that a 12-year dispute erupted in violence at a car auction, with Fury getting the victim in a headlock and forcing his fingers into the victim's eyes. The victim was left half blind after the incident. Fury was handed an 11-year sentence. He was released from prison in February 2015. Big John Fury is a divisive personality. You either love him or hate him. But one thing that cannot be denied is he was a fighting man. During his early career, he juggled working full-time doing manual labor, 
with trading blows in the ring under the moniker Gypsy John Fury. What is less well known about John Fury is his shadowy career as a gangland enforcer and his bloody feud with Barry's Mr. Big, the late Dave Campbell. Dave Campbell was well known in the Northwest as a powerful figure linked to a number of murders, although he was never convicted of any serious crime. Ex-criminal and London hardman Marvin Herbert spoke about Campbell on several occasions, claiming that he used to do business with the Berry Man and had entrusted millions with him while recuperating from a shootout which left him with only one eye and other horrific injuries. There was some type of fallout and Herbert said he was owed money and requested a sit-down with Campbell, organised by two influential kingpins, Peter Fury, John's brother, and Aaron Coglin, a man who had been targeted by special police units and charged with a number of murders. Around this time, John Fury was operating as a one-man gang, an enforcer who would collect money for underworld figures. In his biography, he claims he never used weapons, he only used his hands, head, and feet. It seems that some people thought that John Fury's story wasn't entirely truthful, and foremost amongst these people was Mickey Theo. Theo, well known as a close friend and colleague of the governor, Lenny McLean, has claimed that John Fury got knocked out in a couple of bare knuckle fights back in the day, when he was in his prime, in his late 20s or early 30s, by a guy called Dave Campbell. Theo has said that during the first encounter that John Fury started on David Campbell in a workshop, but it didn't go Fury's way and he ended up getting beaten. Theo said there was a second altercation between the pair with a similar result, Fury coming off second best. And then, according to Mickey Theo, Dave Campbell turned up at a gypsy campsite looking for a third fight with John Fury but John Fury refused to come out of the caravan that he was in, which sounds highly unlikely. Now all of this is according to Mickey Theo. In response to these rumors, John has said he had battered Campbell badly and left him for dead. This is the only information John gave without giving details away, until his book dropped, where he dedicates a chapter to it. In John Fury's telling, the first fight occurred when he had to go to a workshop to pick up a car. On this instance, Fury said he had walked straight up to Campbell, who he described as a big man with a square head like Frankenstein's monster, and punched him, before smashing his head through a glass table. Fury claimed that he won this fight, which also involved some of Campbell's associates, and left just as the police arrived. Fury describes that the police paid him a visit after this fight and issued him with an Osman warning. An Osman warning is a warning of a death threat or risk of murder issued by the British police to the prospective victim. It seemed that Fury had rattled the wrong cage. During this police visit, Fury said that he was told that he'd beaten Campbell badly enough that he was in hospital and that if he died, he'd be facing a manslaughter charge. Fury was confident that the man would survive, and he was right. There are no claims of any further fights between the two, and certainly none that involve Fury losing. The biggest twist is that John Fury said the pair actually had a public meeting to clear the air, shake hands, and leave the whole incident behind them. According to the book, this peace was brokered by John's brother, Peter Fury, who had been having dealings with Campbell and said that he was afraid of John and wanted to have no further problems and would prefer to resolve their beef with his reputation intact. Apparently they met at a shopping center at which there was a large police presence as they must have been tipped off and thought there was going to be trouble, but the opposite was true. The men met, shook hands and put the fight behind them. In Fury's words, they never became best buddies but he came to find that Campbell was a man of his word and they even did some business together years later. So, we have two very different stories. One from Mickey Theo that says John Fury was beaten up on more than one occasion by Dave Campbell. And the second version, in which Fury says he fought Campbell once, beat him badly, 
and eventually stop their beef with a shake of hands. We know that Theo has been needling Fury for a long time and had challenged him to a fight. Was this story embellished by Theo in order to get Fury mad enough to meet him in the ring? By all accounts, most commenters online agreed with the person who said Fury would go through Theo like a knife through butter. Another commenter stated that Fury would win with ease, regardless of the fight being on the cobbles or in the ring. The trash talk between the two has continued for years, and they are yet to meet in an actual fight. Who do you think will win if they ever make it face to face? Thank you for joining us today on Crime Chronicles. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the channel with your friends.